With three state championship banners hanging from the Raptors, Barbers Hill boasts one of the area's most storied girls basketball programs. Last year, the Lady Eagles advanced to the state final four for the sixth time in school history, but they came up short of winning another state title. That semifinal loss still stings, but serves as motivation for this proud program. Going down there last year was kind of a taste um, of what it's like, and, and we feel like that we didn't fare as well as we wanted to. Kind of got embarrassed a little bit in the first game. That's been our motivation since we got back in, in the gym in March. There's a lot of lights and a lot of people and everything, but I feel like we've learned last year not to let all that affect us in our game plan. This year when we go to state, it's not going to bother us and we're going to play to win it. The Lady Eagles are led by a six foot five inch all everything post Charlie Collier. Her list of accolades is almost as long as her wingspan. All state each of the last three seasons, third team Naismith All-American in 2017. ESPN.com ranks her as the number two girls basketball recruit in the nation and last month she signed a letter of intent to play at the University of Texas. I'm not really content with what I'm doing right now. I honestly don't think I'm that good. Um, I have to get better personally, so that's just me. I'm my worst critic. Charlie says she models her style of play after WNBA star Candace Parker. She's like 6'4", handling the ball, posting up, dribbling, passing, because it has an all-around game. You don't see many 6'5 girls. She can step out and shoot the ball. She can run the floor with most any person over six foot tall. She's gotten very mobile. She can move side to side way better than she could her freshman year. Take that pass away. Head coach Tri Danley raves about Charlie's development off the floor the most as she's matured during her time at Barbers Hill. She's a role model and it, you would have to be here every day from her freshman year to see the development that she's made. She's started as a freshman kid and she's gonna leave here as a young woman adult. And, and that says a lot about her character, her parents, the way that they raised her. If you saw her like in school or anything, she, you couldn't tell that she was like number one recruit because she's so down to earth and like doesn't make you like intimidated from her presence. She's just real. In 2016, Charlie earned the opportunity to travel overseas with USA Basketball's under 17 national team. And she hopes to be able to represent the United States again on an even bigger stage. Yeah, uh, 2020 Olympics, uh, hopefully I get the chance to do that. I'll be in college by then. It kind of helped me into this year as well, getting to know the players, getting to know the mental feel of the game just outside of the you know, physical aspect of the game. You just have to be able to um, handle a lot of things because it's emotional. You know, you're away from home, you're in Spain, we're in France. And so we're playing against girls overseas, so we have to learn how to adapt to each and one another. But for now, Charlie will try to lead the Eagles back to state and hopefully take home the school's fourth title. We talk a lot about leaving our mark here when they leave. And right now, the only thing that Charlie can do is leaving her mark is to win a state championship. That's the only thing missing in her resume is to win a state championship. And we're going to try to do that. One, two, three, state.